Tonight, the near record highs for campaign fundraising in this year's November elections. Virginia's early voting window begins Friday. So today, Alex Little Hales joins us in studio following the finances to show us who's investing and how much ahead of Election Day. Alex. Yeah, Allison, Nicole, it's not just politicians who are saying Virginia's November elections are high stakes. The numbers show that too. So far, this cycle's fundraising amounts for the Republican Party are higher than voters have seen dating back more than 10 years. But despite those high numbers, they're still lower than the, the Democratic Party's fundraising totals. Democrats and Republicans are fundraising at or near record high levels. So far, Democratic and Republican candidates in both chambers have fundraised more than $77 million. Even adjusted for inflation, that is the highest fundraising total voters have seen, according to data going back to 2011. According to the Virginia Public Access Project, Democratic candidates have fundraised three million more dollars in House of Delegates races and close to nine million for the state Senate. This as the statewide early voting window starts Friday. OK, the early voting on machine was more or less 50 50 between R's and D's. The oh. mail in ballots um, were well in favor of the Democrats. In Virginia Beach, Hampton Roads' largest voting population, 56,000 people voted early either in person at the registrar's office or by mail in the general election two years ago. Jeff Marks, the city's Board of Elections chair, says the dynamics of who's voting this way are still changing. More and more people are embracing the weeks-long process over the one-day push. Mm -hmm. Republicans seem to be embracing the mail-in process a little bit more this year than they ever have. And I think they finally realized that, you know, it's here to stay and um, you might as well embrace it. So these updated finance reports come less than two weeks after the Democratic National Committee confirmed it's investing $1.2 million towards fundraising here in Virginia. I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now.